Good day and welcome to Lent. My name is Stan Bowman. I'm a part of the chaplaincy team. I want to share some thoughts with you for the season and start out with football. You may not be a fan. Uh, it may be something you don't spend much time watching on television. I'm not a player, obviously, and, and but I had two sons who did, and so that got me started. And years ago, I got acquainted with Newcastle United and a player named Alan Shearer. To this day, even though he's retired as a player, Alan Shearer still holds the league record in the most league goals, 260, as well as a bunch of others. Alan Shearer was an incredibly talented player. In his last match at St. James Park, a testimonial, he told the crowd, I've lived the dream, which he had. He had turned down other clubs, including Manchester United, so that he could play the rest of his career at Newcastle United, which is where he came from. Now, my question today, as we reflect on Lent, is this. Are we living the dream, or are we simply, well, maybe enduring a nightmare? Some people are, with uh, the advent of COVID-19 and health issues and so forth. Let me refer you to a story in Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5 has Jesus coming to the shore of the beach. He meets fishermen like Peter and Andrew, James and John. He asks them to let him go out into the water on their boat, in from which he then preaches to the crowd. Now, when he is done preaching, he then says to Peter and this, his chaps, let your net down into the water. Well, this draws protest from Peter and co, because they said to Jesus, Master, we, we've toiled all night. The fish aren't biting. They're just not there. Nevertheless, maybe they wanted to humor him. They put their nets into the water, and we are told that they had more fish. They needed help to pull it out of the water. Now, Peter's response is quite interesting. He says in Luke 5, verse 8, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. Then, when they get to shore, the Bible tells us they left their fish, they left the nets, they left their career, they changed careers, and they started to follow Jesus. Now, this is not where we take the story of, of Lent from. You may know that. Lent arises from the 40 days of fasting in the wilderness that Jesus endured as he did battle with Satan. Jesus employed the word of God. He dis disciplined himself. He made choices. He made choices. And that's an important thing to think about. Someone has written that Lent is a time not only to prepare ourselves to honor the memory of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection, but also a time to renew and recharge our relationship with God. Uh, Pope Benedict XVI is quoted as saying, Lent stimulates us to let the Word of God penetrate our life, and in this way to know the fundamental truth, who we are, where we come from, where we must go, what path we must take in life. Lent is a good time to ask questions. That was going on in the minds of those disciples, I think. They were talking about changing dreams. Now, I will not ask you to change careers, I'm sure, but this might be a good time to reflect exactly what is our life about? Simply earning an income, caring for our family, trying to say, stay safe, or what? Let me suggest that Lent would be a very good time to reflect on what's important and ask ourselves, are we living the dream? Are we living the dream? Speaking of dreams, I am making this video today on the 3rd of February. Now, yesterday being the 2nd, you will know from the press that that was a day when Captain Sir Tom Moore passed away. You must know that he became a very popular individual last year, starting out with a family exercise, trying to raise about a thousand pounds or more. It grew to an international cause and he raised over 32 million pounds. Sadly, uh, he passed away yesterday at the time now of which I'm making this video. My simple point is this. My simple point is this. If anything, the death of Captain Sir Tom Moore shows us this. You're never too old to change dreams. He had had a life of fruitful service, but he chose to make a choice. He chose to make a choice to do something for other people as he'd always done. I encourage you to think about the same thing. What is your life about? Lent is a good time to reflect. And speaking personally, I recommend Jesus. 
I have had personal knowledge of him for many years, and I recommend Jesus. God bless you during this season, and I wish you all the best. Thank you.